the fun begins, we're into the solo part. What we're going to do, you're going to play the A string, 7th fret, then the uh, same A string, 5th fret, the same A string, 7th fret. And then the seventh fret twice, but on the uh, seventh fret, we're gonna on the second time we're gonna do a full bend. Okay, here's the first three notes: seventh fret A string, fifth fret A string, seventh fret A string. Okay, the next three notes on the uh, D string is the fifth fret in the seventh fret twice, but the second time you're going to do a full bend. Okay, so let's play them together. string on the fifth fret two times. Okay, let's do it over again. solo. We're going to do, we take the 12th fret, the, the 14th fret, and the 15th fret of the E string. It's the first three notes. Okay, then the next uh, sequence is the 15th fret, the B string. 12th fret B string, 13th fret B string, 15th fret B string, we're going to give that a full bend. Okay, so it's a 12th fret, the 14th fret, and the 15th fret of the E string. Then the 15th fret of the B string. And the 12th fret of the B string, 13th and 15th fret. But on the 15th fret, we're going to do a full bend. Okay, third part of the solo, we're going to take the uh, G and the B string, we're going to bar them, play them at the same time in the 12th fret. Play that two times. Okay, then with our index finger on the 13th fret on the B string, and our middle finger on the 14th fret on the G string, that's a C chord. We're going to play that those two notes at the same time. Okay. So we're going to bar the G and the B on the uh, 12th fret. So that's an E chord and a C chord.
Okay, then we're going to go. Eleventh fret, G string. We're going to do a full bend. Okay, and then twelfth fret on the D string and twelfth fret on the A string. Okay, let's do it slow. Okay, then we're just going to go back to the same riff. We're going to hold the bend on the 15th from the B string. 